all right guys well it's january 2nd i already tell them i need my sunglasses we got a little bit of snow not very much two inches is what we ended up kind of calculating that we got i've got real sensitive eyes like right now i can't hardly see but as you can see this is something you'll probably hardly ever see me in insulated bibs it's one degree and uh it is with the wind chill it's about 10 or 15 degrees whoo it's bright over there i need to get my sunglasses on my truck but we had an issue last night doing snow wait until the door's all the way up oh you can tell yeah that's that's messed up pretty good we had a oops uh we uh we had the spreader slide off the truck that way the uh, the two straps came off over on the other side these straps were still hooked on i did not have it strapped on like this this is how i would probably typically strap it on because i like pulling these straight down and those forward i had it x like what they say to do in the manual um i thought maybe that would be a little more secure being on a flatbed to where if it does come off it's not going to roll up to your side it's going to come off the truck well it came all the way off the truck except for this caught right here it doesn't really look like it messed the truck up at all i mean that's why i like a steel flatbed it didn't touch my toolbox um it literally slid off so what i did is i unplugged my plugs and put my my you know total plugs back on to where it kind of closes them off i threw them up there and strapped it on like i normally would and then i had to put this on because uh see this is in the little pocket and if you go up here and look see how that grate's not even sitting into the spreader it actually racked the spreader so if the spreader's like this now the spreader is like that it's about two inches out besides this because this hit the ground obviously as it slid off this hit the ground and what um i think i'm gonna leave it strapped on i'm gonna get the torch and i'm actually gonna try to hook to it with a strap to the flatbed and maybe pull some of that back out and get that whole thing kind of pulled over um because it, it tweaked the entire thing and then if you look at the spreader the spreader's twisted it's like you know this side's here and that side's like that up there on the top it kind of hit this corner pretty hard and dented it um you can tell this is shoved in it's well you might not be able to tell but it's dipped in so it literally hit and kind of dimpled dimpled and pushed this and then it's, it's still not over see how everything's touching here on the ground touching 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 well i can pull this out not touching it's about half or three quarters of an inch up here on the corner and the other side is touching so it's got a pretty good twist in it besides see how far off we're all that we're far off there and the grate's definitely not going in it's it's racked instead of being like that it's like that so we have to fix that um everybody's everybody's deal shows uh snow coming on thursday again and it's sunday it's uh january 2nd so this happened on the first happy new year's to jason um but we have snow coming thursday and if i can't fix this see this isn't lined up with this anymore it used to be back here this isn't so bad i think i could probably get this i don't know really if the spreader's super bad i'm gonna i need to get the spreader off the truck take it to a, a i usually run it through a tunnel wash quite a bit after i get done with the storm and then obviously the spinner covers messed up but i can take that off heat it hammer it i, I think i can get it flat um if not this piece back here is about a thousand dollars comes with the motor this i could probably get just the frame but i doubt if they'll have it in stock i'd have to buy the entire thing they'll have the entire thing in stock um i guess this little tab here got bent down we'll have to bend it back up that got bent down um anyways but uh 
I think I'm gonna pull the excavator out. I'm gonna get my driveway and stuff cleared so then the snow or the sun will melt all the snow off of it. I'll get all the concrete hard surfaces done with the skid loader. I'm gonna pull the excavator out because it pulls the spreader off the easiest. I can just put, you know, my lifter, I've got like a D-ring thing. I put it over the center, chain it, pick it up, it's good to go. Um, but I'm gonna try to get this straightened out back here first. And then I've got a plan for the spreader. I think I can at least get the racking out of it. And the bad thing is, is I have steel sitting over here and the rest of it is over there and back there. But this steel is for a undercarriage for the spreader. I just haven't had time to do it. I really wish I did because this wouldn't have happened last night. This spreader only has maybe three storms on it from last year. It's brand new. It makes me sick, but it's my own fault. I, I just, I, I guess I should have checked the straps. First storm we used it on this truck this year, so um, I should have checked the straps multiple times. Did it break that plug? No. It looked like it broke that plug or something. Luckily, none of the terminals, I don't think it got any of the wiring or anything like that, which we could repair that anyways. Looks like I need to revisit that or something. That's rubbing on that bolt. Um, anyways, but I'm going to try to set the spreader in front of the blade. And I'm going to strap whichever side I need to strap to the blade. And then I'm going to grab the opposing corner and reach over it with the excavator and kind of pull it and see if I can re-rack uh, re it and straighten it. Um, I, I think that'll probably work. I don't, I don't know. Um, but, you know, obviously I'd, I'd basically pull from the other set of corners. We'll see what happens. All right, these are usually my weapons of choice. I usually have a small ball peen. I'll generally use this. And then this is a dead blow, smaller dead blow. Um, a couple of uh, crescent wrenches. Always this. I use the blunt one when I'm doing something like that. And something like that. I figure I might. I got you guys on a DeWalt battery right now. I'm trying to keep some some life in the camera figure I'll start with the easy stuff may need to get my no I mean I'm gonna grab my torch here in a little bit but see what we can do here I'm kind of watching it and then what I do if I need to twist that actually let's let's get this Swing us out of the way, maybe. Oh, that's what's bent. Um, that's challenging itself, I guess. But what you can do is uh, grab this with this one, and you can twist. Um, see? up against this though but I need to be I need to be in there a little further I'm watching for cracks that's not horrible at all yeah it's pretty good I mean that probably didn't even need to be done really but I was thinking that was part of the spreader All right, let's keep that pinned on um, I mean the wire is probably not gonna be in the way let's see if we can get you guys try to get some of this cord out of the way I think I'm going to try to strap it here and maybe go somewhere on the bed if I can. I don't know if I've got a good place really. Maybe right there. I don't know. We'll see. I've got straps here in the truck. 
Uh, my hook's not going to grab the way I really need it to, to be honest with you. I don't think, but at least I can get some pull on it. Okay. Oh boy, it's over a lot. Wow. All right, I'm going to leave that strap on it. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my bigger sledgehammer and try to hit that entire thing over. We'll see what it does. I need to get this underneath this lip back here. And if you uh, if you're worried about my hearing, I might be talking a little loud. I have my earbuds in, but they don't sponsor me. I know they sponsor a lot of YouTubers. I've got some Raycons. They're like the fitness earbuds or something. These things are awesome. Like I'm beating on this, I can't hear anything. I can hear my music. Um, awesome earbuds. So and they don't sponsor me. It's that's just me telling you. If you want some uh, really nice earbuds, they are really nice. Case charging and um, and it's uh, wireless charging too. I can drop it on my wireless charger for my iPhone. Pretty nice. All right, let me grab my big, my a bigger sledgehammer. I'll keep tension on it and I'm gonna try to get this bent over and then we'll work on straightening this. I grab my map gas, I don't know. Probably won't need it. I can grab a torch too, but okay, I got my little big hammer. It's a eight or ten pound sledge. I couldn't tell you. And we cut the handle down a long time ago. I've had it for a long time. Works good for stuff like this. surprisingly good Whew. give it a little more pull I need to pull down here on the bottom of this or I can unbolt the motor probably need to do that unbolt the motor and then I can bend those around but just that little bit having tension on it I mean that squared that up really good and i just kind of hit right here where it had that that cross gusset it sits underneath that lip this side needs to go back a little bit um but that's that's way better i think i'm going to unbolt the motor kind of swing these out and work these separately and then we'll put the motor back up on it so let me do that and we'll be back It'll give the camera time to charge a little bit. Well, that might be a little messed up. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, wow. Well, we'll see what we can do with that. Let's get us a piece of wood. Jason's tip of the day. It, uh, it kind of helps a little bit if you put... This type of stuff on a piece of wood when you're trying to body work that steel. Um, okay, you'll need to be out of the sun somewhere, maybe over there. Let's see if we can put you on a bucket. What do you think? What do you think? You're on a bucket. Let's see what happens there. Three tools. A little sledgehammer. 
for uh, shrinking and expanding, and I can show you if I have to. And then just a punch to get into tight areas. Where do we want to start? Oh boy, it's gonna be tough. It's kind of, it's kind of opened up. Um, let's get. I think if we get some lumber across there, and I can restretch this. It looks like this is factory arc, and then it it falls in. work on stuff you need blocks of wood scraps of wood all that just let you, know. you probably know that already difficult to do anyways and that whole thing it's pulled in Not a lot of spring in at all. Oh yeah, look at that. No rock. Looks good. Huh, there you go. You guys want to check it out? Kind of the way I was holding it before. I don't remember which corner I was holding it on, but Looks pretty good. Looks really good. Looks like I got a little dip here, but that won't hurt anything. And then, uh, no. I mean, it's got a little bit of rock. It's got a little bit of twist in it, but not not anywhere near like what it had. It looked like a messed up pretzel before. Uh, I got to straighten out some washers. Like that guy. I'm going to flatten that out real quick. That one's still, well, we'll flatten it out. Um, anyways, let me flatten them out. I'm gonna anti-seize those probably, because those are probably stainless inserts in there, and we'll put it back on and see what it looks like.
one piece of equipment and you have to pull the spreader off the truck to fix it after you bent it. But you want to uh, have a good surface here. I mean, this isn't perfectly flat because we put kind of a crown in a, well, we put a crown in it. Um, but it's concrete fairly flat we need to try to uh we need to try to flatten out for you know re-rack my spreader there's a good view look at that spreader oh my gosh it makes me sick just looking at it i'm not quite sure if i can fix that